You guys, I just got home from Amarillo, Texas. The past three weeks, my daughter's birthday was February 6th. And before that, I went to California for a tax and business seminar. It was a two day event worth all that time. It was included with some consulting that I paid for. It was worth all of it. What a great event. It's got me inspired and motivated to do EWP with a bang. You know what I mean? For all my people who know what EWP is. So that was a good time. We, we brought Tabitha, who's pretty much building Pi Accounting out to California. She I think she enjoyed it and learned a lot. Plus she got to go to California for the first time. I'm pretty much gonna show you guys the past couple of weeks in my life, make it up to my daughter, it's her birthday so we went crazy we, we did we did all kinds of things that aren't included in this montage but especially we took her to universal and on adventure um, bought her gifts took her out to dinner did a birthday party with her friends you know for me with these birthdays bro most of their life we were saving most of their life we were on a budget and sacrificing and like we're not gonna spend that much this year we're not gonna spend that much this year i've done that for my entire life my entire life you know i've done that and I've said that every year when it came to Valentine's, birthdays, Christmas, we're on a budget, we can't go that crazy this year. Oh, they'll understand, we'll, we'll just get them a bunch of little things. That type of, I'm sure you guys could relate. Now, not saying that like we're not saving and stuff, but I'm definitely trying to make up for lost time a little bit. So I was grateful that we were able to do this. And then we went over to Houston. We had an amazing class, 80 something people pulled up. Shout out to Houston, shout out to Major Deal Barber Studio. That was dope. I felt like it was a great event, hopefully. You know, people will comment below if you went. A lot of familiar faces were there, that was cool. And then we pulled up after Houston. But that night, we flew out to Amarillo and um, George. He's got like a million followers on TikTok. He was coming to my classes when he had no followers. It's amazing to see how much he's grown and he's humble and he still comes to all the shows and stuff. So he was there and the Amarillo to Texas event was dope as hell too, man. I can't believe over 60 people showed up. I, I've never even heard of Amarillo. Besides that, man, the rest of this video is gonna be me showing you guys how it all went down. All right, y'all, I'm in LA for a couple of days. About to go get a haircut. I had posted on Instagram that I needed a cut. One of the barbers in Pasadena, they hit me up. Five minutes away from the hotel. I'm gonna go get a cut, man. Burrito in Cali. Burrito in Cali. Because guys, I told you guys that somebody was gonna look out for me and give me and bless me with a cut. And that somebody is Maori. We out here in Pasadena, we about to get him right, you feel me? Let's go, <laughs> Maori Cuz. Y'all go follow him. Let's check out his spot real quick. All right, here we go. We got the merch on the wall. Uh, we got the TV, and then we got the whole over here. Got the barbershop smell and everything yeah, in here. Yeah. Dope, man. <laughs> we got my trophies over there, my little. There you go. Like a year ago. That's dope. You know, and then we gotta have some of the mm -hmm. motivation stuff over Hell there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You be cutting yourself up too, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I'll be over there too. The, the cell cut. I met you at the premiere once, yeah, right? Yeah, premiere Lambo. Mm -hmm. It was uh, like a year ago. That's what's up, man. It was man. dope, man. And it was a, it was you liked it, for sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was so That's dope. So this is basically what I got right now. Yeah. Well, I used to, when I first came from college, it used to be like a whole bed right here. Oh, okay. My closet was over here, and I was just cutting right here. Yeah. So then I remodeled it. I was like, I put some floor. You know, my yeah. mom put the whole little aesthetic. She put the yeah. little grass on <laughs> And she put the little grass on that. Yeah, I love it. I, I kind of just been putting it together little by little. You it's know, cool. Merch, and then uh, I have to bring the TV in here too, so. Yeah, I got to mail you some stuff, man. I'm going to have to mail you some stuff. Yeah, yeah, bro, for sure. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, let's do it. What are you out here for? Did you go to the LeBron game? Nah, I wish. He said I wish. Nah, I'm, I'm over here for business. That's dope, bro. Hell yeah. All right, bro, so I'm going to do a number seven on the top. Number seven, all right. A number three on the sides. Okay. And then a taper. A taper, no C cup. No C cup, so I taper. High taper. High taper. Yeah. And in the back, I know sometimes you do like a, a mid taper in the back, mid high taper. Yeah. On a high yeah. taper, mid taper. No, you do a mid taper in the back. Yeah. Mid taper in the back. Right, yeah. Perfect. And then um, if you could clean up my beard on the line, just make it as high as possible. It doesn't have to be super, super sharp. Okay. You no. Know, sounds good. Yep. All right, perfect. All right, bro. And then the you want me to use the shavers on there? Yeah, you can. You can use the shavers yeah. on there for sure. Just not, just not here. Just not here. Yeah, but you you could everywhere else. All right, for sure. All right. Let's do it. Let's get to it. No. All right, guys. So this is the before. It's the before. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm about to, about to be a whole new person right after. Let's go. All right, y'all. It's your boy. We're back. We're fresh. I mean, he's back now. Wait mm -hmm. on. He came in a little rusty, you know, but he came in the right way. You know, we got him right. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Man, of course. You know, man, the knowledge that I gained from this is it's crazy, you know? It's good to have people like him in the industry. It motivates me to, like, keep going even further. You feel me? 
so thanks. How do they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram on Mouty Cuts, M A U R I underscore C U T Z Z, or TikTok, uh, Mouty Cuts as well. And I'm also on YouTube as well. You know, I drop some tutorials or vlogs. Okay. Uh, it's all the same, Mouty Cuts. All right, I'm going to have them linked in the description below, guys. So thanks again, man. Yeah, for sure. So I got a free upgrade. I was not expecting this. Check this out. This is the entrance to the room. What in the what in the world? Got the bathroom, nice size bathroom. Got a bedroom. This closes. Small kitchen, a freaking dining area, a living room area. No, a balcony. How I get out here? Nah, stop playing. I got a balcony. How I get out here? It's crazy. Was not expecting this. Oh, you can't open this. Oh yeah, you can. That's crazy. Somebody's house right there. Wrap around balcony. I ain't mad. Thank you for this nice room. High place. I respect it. Hi right, guys, this is why me and Tabitha came here. We came here for this right here. The tax strategy accelerator. These guys helped us with um, my personal tax strategy stuff. Nice event. This is everything that's going on. Yo, this is day two at this event. Day one was just networking. We met some cool people, some uh, successful people. And today we are actually going to seminars, tax strategy, real estate, a whole bunch of stuff. So we're running late, but it starts with breakfast and then we do that. Birthday girl, she's excited. Easy walk, right? Yeah. Dang, girl, you look cute. Look at the drip. You picked the outfit out yourself? Oh, I like it. Oh, you got gifts? My baby's birthday. All right, let's do this, girlfriend. You gonna start there? Okay, open the biggest one last, please. A lightning connector. Oh, that's the piece that you need to make your microphone or the phone purse? Connect to your... Right, right. Okay, Penny in the mix. Oh, I know what that is. What is it? Yay, so now you get create all your art. Isn't it an Apple Yay. Pen? Apple Pencil. It's called a pencil? Yeah, because you can erase it. Wow, oh, wow. <laughs> Dang, Elijah with the quick. All right, what's that? Oh my goodness. It's a new iPad. <gasps> so that one always has internet. You never need hotspot. So it's like a phone. <laughs> Why do you want to hug me? <laughs> yes. I can. You happy? You like that? Okay. I love you. That's from Elijah. He bought that with his own money for you. It's an easel for your art. <gasps> yes. Elijah said you wanted that. And I also got these um, canvases with your colors. It's good big brother. All right. What an amazing birthday you had. Oh, and, and Penny wants a hug. She wants to be in it too. <laughs>
All right, so guys, I want to show y'all some unboxing some stuff I'm passionate about. All right, some of y'all know I've been carrying a purse. Some people would call it that, right? I've actually cared about these bags. And when I started caring about these bags was recently when I traveled to Europe and I was doing a lot of stuff. Like, man, I can't carry. I'll be having my AirPods. I'll be having all kinds of stuff on me. I can't be carrying this stuff. So I bought this bag because it had crazy good reviews. This is the strap that it comes with. And I actually upgraded the strap. With this strap, the whole bag all together came out to like a hundred bucks. It's from Alpaca Elements Tech Case. And then they got one like this that's coming out. It's like a more of a vertical bag. It's a vertical bag, right? This one I actually bought in Europe. So they got one like this where this is like horizontal. But I pre-ordered this one from the company. And it's got like the waterproof seal or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna love this bag or not. This is cool. Like you open this thing up and it's got pockets for days but it's sleek. Like it's just as sleek as this one, if not sleeker. But when you open it, it's, you got access to everything. Organized so much in here. It's actually pretty dope. I just wish there was like a, I mean, this is cool, but I wish there was like a, a pocket on this side as well. I'm gonna put these on. And I never thought I would care about bags like this. I read reviews, I watch YouTube videos on them. Oh damn it, nobody thinks, man. This is about functionality, making my life easier. This bag is actually good quality, man. The strap that it didn't come with, that you had to pay extra for, is fire too, nice and comfortable. I'm gonna rock with this for a little bit, see how it goes. So I just put all my stuff in here and it's kind of a, a tight fit, actually. Like that, like that. All right, that's pretty dope. A little tight, I gotta loosen it a little bit, but take it off pretty easily. Good. All right, like I was saying, it's a little bit of a tight fit. I don't know, it's getting in and out of my bag is gonna be as easy as I want it to be. Whatever, we'll see. All right, next thing I want to unbox was some sneakers. These took forever to get. Part of it because I got it from GOAT. The other part is the company's based in China. These have amazing reviews as well. I think if these don't work out, the next pair I'm gonna get are the new LeBron. Here we go though. These are, uh, they're GOAT verified. Everything checked off. I got them below retail. Retail is $300. These are called the Way of Wades. I got the mints because they were the most affordable. I like the color because they just stand out. When you hoop them, they're going to stand out. But these things are crazy. Way of ways. I know some of y'all not going to like them, but the reviews on these are insane. These ain't shoes you go wear out. These are shoes you hoop in. I'm excited to rock these. So I'm going to actually try these on today. I'm going to go hoop in them. I don't think you guys got to see this, but this is the bag. You guys can see the magnetic thing is right here. If I move it over, there's the bag. It's nice, it's comfortable. So this is the back of a shop right here, about the size of a shop. The back room is the size of a shop. Shop is crazy. Shampoo bowls, thing is huge. Major deal barber studio. It's a nice shot. All right, y'all, uh, the setup, sold out class. The boys are ready. Look at that quality. We got a screen up here, screen right here. The production. My dog Dre figured it out finally. Finally, bro, only took 29 years. <laughs> This airport got the least belts I've ever seen. It got two belts. One, two belts. Never seen nothing like that. This is all the cowboy ass. That's crazy. This Texas for real, guys. This is real Texas. This ain't like like commercial Texas. This is the real thing. Listen, Amarillo is actually a pretty big place. There's like population 200,000. I didn't even know. Is but it the, for real? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. But the hotel is pretty cool. Nice height, whatever. We got uh, Kendrick over here looking at the beautiful view. Let's abyss. check it out. Let's check it out. This is what I call the abyss of nothing. I feel like I'm on the moon. This is the view during the day, guys. Bro. Uh, Amarillo, Texas. It's a big town. Like, it's like a big town. But they got a lot of farmland. All right, guys, day two. Here with Kendrick. Here with my boy, George. Yo, Go way up? back. This is the newest location, Fort Worth Barber Supply. Amarillo. Let me show you guys where the class, where we're doing the class at. Check it out, guys. 
Big story, got the line outside, they waiting to get in. We gotta get them the, all these gems, man. I like it though. Look, they got the chairs. I know you see the capes. I know you see the cape gang. I know you see it. Dope, man, excited. I gotta get one of these t-shirts. Oh, that's Same what you got hoodie. on. Same hoodie, yeah. That's fine, I gotta get all this. You guys can see, I gotta get some of that too. I'm gonna shop while I'm here. But yeah, guys, it's going down, man. We're about to get some crazy gems, man. Definitely some Texas stuff right here. We about to eat some steaks. Sheesh. Look like Texas. Look at the big cow over there. Yes, that was pretty good. It all used to be alive. That's the crazy part. Lord Jesus. That's my food right there, guys. Dre didn't pick the same thing because he didn't want to be like me and look like And now look at me. 